I guess you're under the spotlight tonight is Father Gary Hillesheim, and he's here on behalf of St. George's Parish, which is located near Gibbon and near New Hall. And I guess a lot of people throughout the area, everybody throughout the area, I think knows where St. George is, don't you think so, Father? I believe so. Okay. You have got a big celebration coming up, 125 years. When, when are you going to celebrate that? We're celebrating this weekend. Uh, the basic uh, celebration will be on this Saturday mm -hmm. uh, we'll, with a thresh and bee and old machinery and crafts of different types. Mm, there's got to be a lot of food, too. Oh, there will be some heritage foods there. In fact, some of the ladies are cooking it already, getting it ready, getting some of the things ready. Uh, we will also have uh, a mini rendezvous. We'll have some buckskinners coming in to oh, show some of the wares. I was wondering what that mini rendezvous was. Somebody's coming in to visit you, huh? Well, we have uh, one of our families in the parish belong to the Buckskinners organization, I and see. so we've invited some other people in, some friends of mine who are working with uh, hides and that type of thing. So one thing, one day only you're going to celebrate, then on Saturday. Right? Well, that's the open celebration for everyone for that day I type see. of thing. Uh, and at 4.30, we'll kind of highlight the day with the Peter and Paul Wendinger Band playing the music for the uh, a heritage mass, a polka mass, which right. will be outdoors. Uh, you, uh, kind of an interesting story, is uh, maybe a little bit of an involved story, but it's an interesting story in connection with a pageant that you did about 100, uh, well, about 25 years ago for the 100th, or was it for the centennial that the pageant was held at that time? Right, in 1958, they put on a 10-episode page pageant which deals with the, all the history of Nicollet County, the history of uh, uh, the Indians, the history of the settlers coming into the area, uh, the Indian uprising. 1862. And somebody had presence of mind to take pictures, and so you have all these slides, and you've put this together in sort of an updated version. Correct, there, right? yes. The, what, what they had done was they had a professional photographer there to take 8 by 10 black and white, mm -hmm. and they also had the presence of mind to have a, uh, a tape going. So that I see. You got the narration. Narration in. going. See, the narration was the only thing that was live. They also was one of, one of the first outdoor pageants to ever mm -hmm. put the people's pe uh, parts on tape so I that see. they were, were not live. And so what we did is we went to a professional, uh, Jerry, a mentor uh, at New Prague, mm -hmm. to enhance that and to work with that. And, and then all together. Correct. And There's some music that's going to go with it, and you brought along the cassette of that music, which will be available a little bit later on. About 17 selections. They're all by St. George musicians. Aren't you a St. George area musician? Yes. What we had done then was to recreate the pageant and be very faithful to what had taken place 25 years ago, but we thought we'd add a flavor of our own at this time. And one of the gifts that St. George Parish has is its music. There's a lot of music talent. And so what we have do had done was to incorporate introducing each one of the episodes I see. with present day music I in see. the background. Well, it looks like you're going to have a very interesting day, Father. You're going to be busy, and I know you've been busy up to this point. There are so many things that are I've been looking at uh, at the news story here in the Gibbon Gazette, and it looks very interesting. You've got you've got a quilt that people want to see. There's going to be a lot of cooking. You've got a you've got an old vestment that'll be on display, which you say is in remarkably good shape, although it's been around since 1858 or something mm -hmm. like that. It's been around a long, long time. So you go back a long way in history, and it's going to be nice to update it. 125 years is a lot of years. We think 100 is a lot, but 125 is just 25 more, and so it should be. A very interesting observance and an interesting celebration, one day only, really, this coming Saturday, highlighted by a threshing bee and the pageant. So thanks for being with us, Father, okay. and tell us about it, and may you have a very pleasant weekend. Okay, thank you very much. And that's Regional Spotlight for tonight.